why dating advice might not work for you. In this video, we're gonna analyze several examples of people taking our advice or dating advice in general, trying to apply it and completely messing up. If you're someone who's struggling with texting girls or just online dating in general, this is the video for you. So I've had countless situations with people email me, DM me on Instagram, or just do a coaching call with me and they say, hey, Alex, I really like your content, but unfortunately it does not work for me. I've tried your advice and I've had no success. And 99.9% .9 of the time, the issue is that they simply misapplied my advice, right? And this video is gonna be dedicated to exploring the various ways that people will take my advice or that of dating coaches and completely misinterpret it and mess it up, right? And this is gonna be a very important video, so make sure you guys watch until the very end because you could watch all the PWF videos in the world or all the dating videos in the world, but if you're not able to correctly apply the advice, you're gonna be shit out of luck. Let's start off with a very easy one. He says, hey Paula, it's Blank from the app. She says, hey, what's up? How's your day going? I just finished working out, getting fit for our date. Now, the issue here is that he's just blindly copy and pasting lines, right? This is the line that we would send if a girl asks you how your day is going. So he's basically answering his own question, right? And just like, again, like it's pretty obvious that he's just copying and pasting lines without really considering the context. Now, if he didn't say, how's your day going? He just sent that, that would've been okay, right? But because he says, how's your day going? And then he follows it up by just like basically answering the question, right? This really just comes off like, eh, like uncalibrated text skin. Now, I don't think this is gonna be like the headshot. I think he might have a chance with this girl. Maybe she'll respond at some point, maybe not. But again, you wanna make sure you do everything optimally based on how competitive the dating marketplace is. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is gonna require a little bit more nuance. So with this girl, um, I guess he asked her something about meeting up tomorrow. She says, now nah, I'll be going home after work. He says, that's better. I would have been extra aggressive with you yesterday. Not really sure what that means. She says, ooh, scary. I'm gonna spank the brat out of you. You're such an amateur. You've never met anyone like me and watch your attitude. And thank God, right? So this is going from friendly banter to her kind of like making fun of him. And there's multiple mistakes made here. Like when the girl says, ooh, scary, I wouldn't say I'm gonna spank the brat out of you. I would say something along the lines of like, don't worry, I'll hold your hand and help you get through it, right? So you wanna balance out this cockiness, right? With humor, right? And humility. You can't just be always over the top, cocky, 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 because you're gonna get outcomes like you're about to see. Uh, bring that attitude here in front of me if you're brave enough. Almost feels like he's challenging her fight. And she says, you got this fake confidence I don't like. So yeah, that is what it comes off like. Like he's overcompensating for something. Just going over the top again and again and again. And the girls are just gonna think that you're either overly cocky or you have fake confidence. And here he really messes up. He says, maybe I overdid it a bit. I just had a shitty day yesterday and you pulled the brat card on me in the wrong time. Let's start over. So it's like, it's not quite an apology, but somewhere in that category, right? And this is gonna be the final blow. Like, I don't think he's gonna get a response after this. So if I was in his shoes and I said the text I sent, which wouldn't happen, and the girl's like, you got this fake confidence I don't like, I would challenge her. I would say, what makes you think it's fake? Or how do you know it's fake? Or why do you say fake confidence, you know, emphasize fake? But basically get her to explain what she's talking about, even though I think we kind of have an idea, right? And then reframe the whole thing. And I have multiple videos on frame control, you guys can check it out. Uh, but yeah, when you kind of backtrack and apologize, it's over, especially after being this cocky and confident. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So um, the girl's like, it was an absolute party. Where are they currently? So this is starting a little bit into the conversation. Amnesia, okay, nice, it's good. I will come to Ibiza tomorrow. Yes, Amnesia was amazing. There's a lot of good parties happening. Have you been to Ibiza before? Yes, I have. Smiley face, D'Souza, and you. Oh, he asked her where you're from, by the way, and then she says that. I'm from the US, but was living in Europe for four years across Germany. I just moved here for working on a boat party a few weeks ago. Oh, okay, sounds very nice. And so far, it's been pretty good. Here's the mess up. What are your plans later? If you're free, I can show you this nice lounge near the marina port. So. I don't know 100% if he's just like misinterpreting my advice or this was just a natural mistake he made, but we're following this, this idea that he's messing up my advice. The advice would be going for the meetup, right? I always say, hey, you don't want to dilly-dally, you want to go for the date, you want to go for the meetup. However, I also say that you want to make sure you set up the date in an optimal, smooth, progressive way. So when the girl says, oh, okay, sounds very nice, I would have said something like, yeah, I'll tell you all about it in person, or yeah, I'll tell you all about over a nice bottle of wine. 
uh, wine, soft close, right? When the girl responds to the soft close, then you figure out her schedule. When she responds to that, then you go for the hard close. He skipped those first two steps and just went straight for the hard close, which again, is ineffective. Let's move on to the next one. Is this the girl with the big booty from Hinge? Nice. She's like, yes, great. How's your night so far? I'm super drunk, lol. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, are you at the club? No, I just got home from Thanksgiving, feeling spontaneous. Ooh, just as a side note, if a girl's super drunk, probably not the best idea to be going for the meetup. You don't want to risk it. She says, always, how far are you from his address? She doesn't respond, so he re-engages, I think, the next day, has the hangover, which is a totally fine text to send. So this was pretty good so far, minus the going for the meetup. Shit, he been sleeping all day. That's pretty significant. Hangover might be must be a lightweight. Well, no, I'm not. We're literally drank way too much, chugging so much. Well, oh, so you enjoy chugging on things. Now, so far, his game is actually good. Like he's got this playful, bantery, flirty vibe. They're flirting back and forth. This is good so far. But all it takes is one really, really bad text to completely mess you up. She says, lol, every so often I do. The sincerity needs to be rewarded. Well, that would be nice. And then here, he drops this really cheesy text. Choose reward, cuddles, neck kisses, a good spanking. The girl doesn't respond. He says, if you're too shy to understand, she doesn't respond. He follows up with, if I'm, if I'm not your type, I totally understand. She says, I don't like that cheesy shit. And yes, girls do not like overly cheesy texts. So when the girl says, lol, that would be nice, um, there's many different directions I could have gone in. I might have said, yeah, uh, yeah we should make it happen. Uh, do you like wine? Just go for the meetup. Or if I'm not going for the meetup yet, I would have said, yeah, I have a few ideas in mind with like a thinking emoji or a devil emoji, right? Again, you don't want to send overly corny text. So I think if you're following the thread that this guy is misapplying my advice, which is entirely possible because I always talk about cuddles and neck kisses and a good spanking. Uh, is that he's basically taking the idea that, hey, you want to be flirty and sexualized and basically going overboard with it. So you guys seeing a pattern with all these things is people are taking my advice with that of other people and just going overboard without using common sense or context to make sure it's right for the situation, right? You don't want to, everything is good in moderation. You don't want to go overboard on sexting. You don't want to go overboard on being confident, right? You don't want to go overboard on calling the girl out. Everything needs to be done with a, you know, with a consideration of context and, you know, with moderation. Okay, so she says, I don't like that cheesy shit. And yeah, at that point, it's like pretty hard to recover from that. Well, let's take a look at one last one. This one is particularly interesting. So, you know, they have plans, I guess. They've been texting a little bit back and forth. And she messages him, hey, I have to apologize because I don't think I can make it tomorrow due to some unforeseen circumstances. I know it's very much rude since we have been trying to make plans for a while, but I hope you understand. And he says, is it because I'm ugly or, now this is definitely one of my takeaways. However, it's not a takeaway I would ever use for this situation. This is kind of like a troll takeaway that would you would use if the girl is being very like short worded, she's not giving you much to work with, right? And you're basically just trying to like spark a reaction. But the girl's not doing that. She's being very sincere. So what I would have said here is um, no worries. Uh, just out of curiosity, what are these unforeseen circumstances? That's it. Try to figure out what the issue is and then you can see if you can address it, right? But you have to be sincere if the girl's being sincere towards you. Absolutely not. I would have not swiped right on Tinder if I thought you were not attractive. It's really just me going through some stuff in my personal life right now. Okay, so you're just nervous then. Again, takeaway is being used completely out of context. That takeaway can be really, really good in certain contexts. It can also be really, really bad in other contexts like this. So if I was at this point and the girl's like saying this, I would have said like, uh, I understand, no worries. We all go through tough things sometimes. Just have curiosity, what's been going on? Maybe it's something I've dealt with in the past. Again, empathy. No, like I said, I have a few things going on so I won't really have time anytime soon. Uh, okay, why don't we cut to the part where you just tell me what's up? Bro, that's literally what she's doing in this very second. I won't since it's pretty personal. Thanks for understanding. Now, look. You know, she might have not shared, you know, off the bat, but I think a big reason why she's reluctant to share is because she feels like he's not gonna give a shit. He's not gonna empathize. He's not gonna care, right? Because of the texting so far. So I would venture to say that if he sent the text that I mentioned the first time she brought this up, there's a much higher chance that she would have actually explained what's going on. Uh, so he says, wow, generally didn't take you for that type of girl. Again, yeah, makes no sense. What do you mean? You're a wuss, cute ball all talk, unfortunately. It's just way too combative. All right, X, what do you call someone who uses up your valuable time and then comes up with a bullshit excuse which cannot be told and then therefore wastes all that spent time? This one just comes off honestly kind of butthurt. 
That's pretty bold of you to be the judge of my excuse, but I can understand. Again, I apologize. And you can tell this is not an American girl. No American girl would be this polite after this much. Like an American girl at this point would be like, well, fuck you, you got small dick anyway. That's common sense and called boundaries. Boundaries work both ways. So the issue here is that he's taking my takeaways, which is good, but he's using them completely in the wrong context, right? He's not concerning what the girl is saying, he's just blindly sending takeaways, right? Which again, is causing him to have this outcome. All right, hope you guys found this video valuable. And in conclusion, all the mistakes that we saw and that guys make with the misapplication of my content boiled down to essentially two things. The first one is simply going overboard, right? So taking something like sexualization or drawing a boundary and just going way too far, everything should be done in moderation. And the second one is gonna be simply not considering the context, right? So that's again why I say you don't wanna be copy and pasting lines. Like look, my life would be very easy if I could just give you 50 lines that work, you know, that you can copy and paste and you're happy, I'm happy, right? But at the end of the day, it's not that simple. You have to understand the underlying context, which is why it's very important to study not only what happened, you know, when I sent that line, but what happened before, what happened after. So it's important to take a look at the whole picture and be very holistic rather than just trying to like figure out one situation in isolation. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, click the bell for notification, and share this with a few friends because it really helps in the algorithm. Also, we're gonna be doing a free webinar this Sunday at 8 p.m. where we're gonna be actually breaking down multiple layer reports. So if you're serious about improving your text game, right, you're tired of you know, having these types of outcomes, then make sure you guys register for that. It's completely free. Link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.